Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about being 35. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am 35 years old. I've been a software developer for eight years, but I'm still not a manager. Should I be concerned for my career? No. Well, I suppose it depends on your skill level and your seniority and stuff like that, but I don't you don't have to be a manager to have a a fruitful and stable career in software development. I know that's a very popular opinion and to a point I suppose that it is true because uh, at some point you will not be able to progress your uh, your position within a IT company without going into a management management type of role at the very least. You don't have to be a people person per se, but you mean a team lead or being a uh, architect or something like that becomes a very natural thing for you, especially when you're getting uh, to be uh, like a lead. Uh, I'm 35 is still, I would say the 35 is like, you mean, you can of course be a manager quicker than that, but uh, honestly, uh, I think that now you, if you've been doing this for for quite a few years now, now you're getting like sort of to the age where you're able to do it well. Honestly, I know that there is this kind of hype around getting someone who is like their mid twenties or l l late twenties into a management position, but honestly, it's re like sometimes it works out, but guys. In many cases, it doesn't. You have no idea how many uh, people that go in, that go into management way before they should. I mean, it's I mean they get the experience and so forth, but uh, that's usually how it goes. The higher up the chain you go, the more damage you can do. And I've seen some, I've seen some people who were very clearly unfit to manage fuck up things worse than you can possibly imagine because of their position their way their words way heavy way heavier because of convention rather than anything else and then they might actually make this they they and they will make decisions that are really shitty and that's true the true sociopaths that they are they don't care or they're too arrogant to see that their their decisions aren't panning out all that well you know live and learn right doesn't matter if uh, it fucks up the entire company or if it uh, does the thing that I hate the most which is to slow down effective work processes because they had uh, I mean managers have just as software developers have philosophers and geniuses to try out uh, who, who uh, try to reinvent the wheel you have managers who do the same thing or managers who believe that they they know better so I think that uh, waiting a little bit like uh, getting getting a solid and wise perspective on the industry is a very it's a I think it's a good thing I mean you should still you still need the people skills you need to keep if you're just a code monkey yeah no then you're never gonna be a manager or you're never gonna get to those sort of qualities that's not necessarily a deal breaker for you even if you get older as a software developer you can still get a job I have friends who are in their mid 50s or late 50s now who sure it wasn't as quick for them to get a job as it was for me or some of my friends, but they did it and they're really, really good software developers. And in this case, I would even go as far to say that, they're, that their main drawback, uh, as drawback as a, as a developer isn't, it, it's sure, it is the age, of course, but at the same time, it's more that they are not, they're, they're still not taking a responsibility that is expected or really like what people want to see from a person that has that many years in the industry and that's the thing that you really need to think about if you want to have a very long and fruitful career even if you don't want to be a manager in software engineering you need to be a people person to a, a to a point you need to be able to deal with the complexities of delivering software you can absolutely be a code monkey and if you keep the hunger up there's a lot of companies who will just hire you because you show that you have the relevant skills because relevant skills are the most important thing and the second th most important thing is that you is your attitude towards the work that you do 
there are many companies who will hire a senior developer who's up in their 40s or 50s just as long as they know that yes this person really knows their shit they know the stuff that we are do like that we need and the second thing is that they're going to be they're going to fit in here they're going to be a good office fit here i've seen guys who are in their in their early 50s go in and uh, start working together with the people who are in their mid 20s so it's not like it's a just because you're getting a little bit older that doesn't mean that you're out out of the game you get out of the game if you let your age get in the way of all the things that actually matter the age only matters if you very clearly should because it's a prejudice just as a prejudice against race or gender or whatever you can break that prejudice like that you might not get as many callbacks uh, per se, in some cases if for positions and so forth unless your CV really kind of reflects the prejudice because remember the prejudice it spans many many things it's uh, the older you get the more experienced you should be right so if you don't have any experience then the CV is gonna look kind of weird right because you're this old and you don't know all these things there's all these subjective pr perspectives on what you should be and what you should have known by this age and that so forth and so forth and your attitude and if you do actually meet people who are willing to just go you know what let's just see what this person is about if you now very clearly prove that this age thing that everybody like, that, that that's not a fact like you are actually a really good time to be around you're really hungry you have a lot of good ideas and you really know your shit they're going to go from assuming that you're probably not going to be a good fit to being like oh shit we need this person right here right now because he's basically on the same wavelength as uh, the people that uh, we usually hire but he also has all these other experiences assuming of course that they're looking for you to fill that sort of role uh, and if you can do that no i don't think that you need to be concerned for your career it's going to be a really good one so what i want you to take away from this is that if you are not a manager by 35 or something like that it's i promise you it's not a big deal there are many 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 people who are working in software development who are much older than 35 and are doing just fine what matters is do you have the skills are you or do you have good strong software skills do you the, do the years that you have spent in the industry reflect in some way that very clearly proves that yeah these are quality years you know your shit if that is the case then you will be fine I ur urge you to make sure though that you also develop your soft skills and you're not just a code monkey get a bit of a business mindset you understand that knowing how to speak the lingo and like to how to how to have a bit of personal charisma and so forth factors in a lot because when age becomes a factor for you and these prejudices starts to set in you need some way of communicating that yeah this thing that you think uh, someone who is 35 is all about well yeah there are absolutely people who are like that but I'm not like that I am this person that like, I, I'm breaking your stereotype right here right now I'm just I just broke it I am super talented I'm super hungry uh, I could run this company tomorrow if I wanted to like if you wanted me to no problems whatsoever the reason why I'm 35 I'm not, I'm not a manager is not because I didn't have the chance it's just because I have other things that I'm really interested in and if you can prove that without just saying the words and people really believe you all of your problems go away have a great day